Hey guys, um, I've just added a new series to the channel, and that series is based on this week's winning stocks. That is this week's option picks. So each week, I will be either following an option or I will be picking a new option um, if that's based on if there is something available. Um, so this week, well, let's start off with the way we always start off with this week's winning stocks, what happened in the markets this week. And we see that after nine weeks of moving straight up, the S&P 500 finally took a dip. So now it's starting to move down. We don't know if it's going to be this week or the next two weeks or it's going to be more prolonged, but time will tell. Um, if we go to our this week's option picks, I actually dropped a video in the channel this week warning guys about the fact that the market was going down. And I spoke about some possible things that you could do to preserve your portfolio. I said if you wasn't holding on to stocks long-term for long-term capital gains, you could actually um, sell them. But if you weren't going to do that because you wanted the long-term capital gains, you could do something called buying a put option. And the way a put option works is that when the market or when a particular stock is going down in value, that put option goes up in value if it's a put option that you bought. So around the time I left that advice for you guys, I don't just give advice to y'all. I follow the advice myself. And right after I said that to you guys, I actually bought a put. So I'm going to show you two prices for that put. I bought the put on, here it is, January 3rd. It was Wednesday. I bought this put, right? Now, that was Wednesday. By Friday at around 350, here was the price of the put $1,070.50. How much did I buy the put for? I bought it for $974.66. So by 350 today, I had a gain of $95.84. That is a 13.42% gain. However, options, you can make a lot of money when you buy them and things go right, but you could lose a lot of money when things go wrong. You could really feel a lot of pain when things go wrong. And they're very volatile. They can move very quickly. So like I said, by 350, I was up $95.84 on my put. Ten minutes later, when the markets closed at 4 o'clock, I checked it again just to make sure my gains was locked in. But the S&P 500 moved up a little bit. And that $1,070.50 option moved down to $1,024. My $95.84 gain had slipped down to 
and 34 cents. So my 13.42% gain in two days has slipped to 12.91%. Um, just showing this to you guys to show you options can move very much. They can be very volatile. And when they go right, you can make a lot of money. You, if, it, if, if the stock is moving in your way, that option can make you 100% or 50% on your money in three weeks, in a month or whatever. But when they go wrong, it can go terribly wrong. And you can lose that same amount of money very quickly. But in any event, this put was a put that I bought for protection to protect the rest of my portfolio so that if my stocks are dropping, the put is moving in the opposite direction. And it's not too late to get into this play. Now we're going into the markets on Monday. You want to be looking at what the markets do. Are they continuing to go down or are they moving back up? And if they're continuing to go down, that may be a play that you can make is getting that put. Now, there's a video on my channel. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this, it's called What is a Put Option? And if you're interested in knowing more about this, you would want to look at that video. There's also another one which is called What is a Call Option? Because if you think the market is going to go down, you could buy a put. But if you think it's going to go up, you can buy a call. And if you want to know how to set your brokerage account up for trading options, look for the video on my channel, which is the Swing Traders Toolkit. Now, to understand call and put options, an option is basically a promise, but it's a promise that you can buy or sell. It's a promise that you could buy 100 shares of a particular stock at a particular price on or before a particular date. That's what you're getting when you're buying a call a put is a sort of a different variation but you can learn more about it when you look through the video on my channel also there is a video on the channel how to use this week's stock winnings and it speaks to you about when you look at these this week's stock winners on the channel, how do you go about following up on that information so that you can take advantage of opportunities? I would suggest for everyone who hasn't watched this that they will watch it. And also, anytime you see this thumbnail in the channel for a new video, Breaking Financial News, Watch that video quick as possible if you have anything in the market. That explains if there's anything that I see going on in the market, maybe a particular stock dropped or just like this week by Tuesday morning when I saw that the market was down in pre-market hours. I put out a video explaining what was happening, 
explaining that the market was going down and giving a few suggestions as to how to preserve your portfolio. So I would pay attention anytime you see me dropping a breaking financial news video. So that's it for um, the option picks for this week. Guys, have a great day, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video.